Our lesson for tonight is lesson 7.8, subtraction with renaming. Our essential question is, how can you rename a mixed number to help you subtract? So if you look here on number one, on page 147 in your Go Math book, they are renaming your mixed number so that you can subtract when you have to regroup. So go ahead and make sure that you're on page 147 so we can get started. Okay, let's look at number two. It says six wholes minus three and two fifths. Well, we might be thinking, oh, we can just drop down the two fifths and then just subtract our wholes. But we cannot do that in this case. We cannot subtract the, if we don't have a fraction in this spot, we cannot subtract and take away. It would be like saying zero and two fifths or zero fifths minus two fifths and we can't do that. So what we have to do is we have to make a fraction that we can subtract from. So we'd be saying that we would have to take away from our whole number. So let's take away from our whole number. If I subtracted one whole away from six holes, I would have five holes left. But if I'm taking away a whole, I'm gonna be adding a whole to my fraction. So I know that the denominator is out of fifths, so a whole would be five fifths. So now I have a fraction that I can subtract from. So let's subtract. Five fifths minus two fifths. Well, I know that five minus two is three, and I keep my denominator the same, three fifths. Now I can subtract my whole numbers. Five minus three is two. So I would have two and three fifths for my answer. Here's why. If I had six wholes and I wanted to take away three and two fifths, I could take away my three wholes easily, but then it would be hard for me to take away two fifths from this, from the rest of my wholes. So what I would have to do is I would have to break up this one hole into fifths. And then, so now I have my five-fifths that I created, and I can take away two-fifths from that five-fifths. One-fifth, two-fifths. So now I have my answer. I have two holes and one, two, three-fifths. And that's what I got for my answer. Okay, let's look at number four. I have nine and three-eighths minus eight and seven-eighths. Well, I can see that I cannot subtract seven eighths from three eighths. We can't do that. So what we need to do is we need to borrow a hole from my nine holes. So I'm going to be renaming this nine and three hole, nine and three eighths. So let's take away a hole, and now I have eight holes here. But if I'm going to take away a hole, I need to give a hole to the three eighths. So one whole, in this case, is equal to eight eighths. So now I can say three eighths plus eight eighths, which is a whole, is now 11 eighths. So I have eight and 11 eighths minus eight and seven eighths. That's my new problem. So now I can see that I can subtract my 11 minus seven which is four, keep my denominator in eight, and then eight holes minus eight holes, well that's zero holes. So my answer is four eighths, which is also the same as one half if you simplify it. Okay, let's skip down to number six. We are only doing the even problems today. If you didn't notice that, we're doing only evens. So number six says eight and one six minus three and five six. Well, I can see that I cannot take away 5 sixths from 1 sixth, so I need to regroup. So I have 8 and 1 sixth, well I have a hole that I can take away from my 8 holes to give to my 1 sixth. So if I take away a hole, I will have 7 holes and I have to give a hole 
to my 1 sixth, which would be one whole would be 6 sixth in this case. So now I would have 7 and 7 sixths minus, I'm making my new problem, 3 and 5 sixths. So now we can subtract. 7 sixths minus 5 sixths is 2 sixths. And 7 minus 3 is 4. Now, did anybody notice that my numerator and denominator are even? That means that I can divide by 2 to simplify. So, 2 divided by 2 would be 1. And then 6 divided by 2 would be 3. And then I would just keep my whole number. So, 4 and 1 third would be the final simplified answer. Okay, number 8 says 10 and 1 half minus 8 and 1 half. Well, let's subtract our fraction parts first. 1 half minus 1 half, well that would be 0 halves. So I could write 0 halves if I wanted to, but it would just be the same as having nothing. So you don't have to put 0 halves, we just keep it blank. And then we could do our whole numbers. 10 minus 8, well that is 2. So 10 and 1 half minus 8 and 1 half is just 2. That's all. Here's why. If I have 10 holes and I take away 8 holes, so 6, 7, 8, and then if I have a half and I take away a half, I would have 2 holes left over. Okay, friends, let's look at number 10. We have 9 and 3 twelfths minus 4 and 7 twelfths. Now, I would like you to work out this problem on your own, and we will check the answer when you get done. Go ahead and work it out now. Okay, let's work out our problem. As you can see, if we subtracted 3 twelfths minus 4, 7 twelfths, we wouldn't be able to do that. So we're going to have to borrow a hole from the 9 holes, which would make it 8 holes. If I borrow a hole, I'm going to give a hole to the 3 twelfths. A hole would be 12 twelfths. So now I can add 3 twelfths plus 12 twelfths is 15 twelfths. And I'm going to bring over my eight holes. And now I can subtract my four and seven twelfths. If I subtract eight and 15 twelfths minus four and seven twelfths, I would get 15 minus seven gives me eight with the denominator of 12. And my eight holes minus my four holes would give me Four holes. Now, four and eight twelfths can be simplified. The greatest common factor between eight and twelve is four, so I can divide by four. Eight divided by four is two, and twelve divided by four is three. And I can just bring my four over. So my final answer is going to be four and two thirds. Okay, boys and girls, for number 12, I want you to work on this one on your own. And then I would like you to press play when you're ready to go over the answer. All right, let's go over our answer. So I had nine and one third minus two thirds. So I know that I can't take away two thirds from one third, so I needed to rename my eight and one third. I took away my hole from nine holes and I had eight holes left and I added a hole to my one third, which got me eight and four thirds minus two thirds. Well, four thirds minus two thirds would be two thirds. And then I noticed that I have eight minus zero holes. So eight minus zero is eight. So my final answer is eight and two thirds. Okay, here's number 14, four and five eighths minus one and seven eighths. Try this one on your own. Press pause while you're working on it and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, let's go over our answer. We had to 
rename our 4 and 5 eighths, and we had to take away a hole from our 4, which gave us 3 holes, and we're giving that hole to our 5 eighths. So then we would have 3 and 13 eighths minus 1 and 7 eighths. 13 eighths minus 7 eighths is 6 eighths, and 3 holes minus 1 hole is 2 holes. So I would have 2 and 6 eighths. And we should divide by 2 to simplify because both of our denominators our, and our numerator is even. So we would have 2 and 3 fourths. Okay, let's look at number 16. I want you to try number 16 on your own and then press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, let's go over our answer. We should have said that since I had no fraction here, I had to make a fraction. So I took away a hole from my seven and made it six holes, and I gave a hole to my fraction. So now I had five fifths. So I would have five fifths minus three fifths is two fifths, and six minus one is five. So five and two fifths is my answer. Okay, let's look at number 17. Alicia buys a five pound bag of rocks for a fish tank. She uses one and one eighth pounds for a small fish bowl. How much is left? So here are my keywords. How much is left and uses. She uses a certain amount. So that means that I'm gonna have a subtraction problem. So I would have five holes minus one and one eighth. That would be my problem. So remember like our first problem, number two that we worked on. We didn't have a fraction here. We had to make one. So we have to take away a hole from the five holes and I would have four holes, but then I'm giving a hole to my fraction. So I'm just gonna add eight eighths here. Now I have a fraction that I can subtract from. So 8 eighths minus 1 eighths is 7 eighths, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So 3 and 7 eighths would be my answer. I don't have to simplify because 7 and 8 are 1 away from each other, and when they're 1, it's done. Okay, let's look at our next problem. Xavier made 25 pounds of roasted almonds for a fair. He has 3 and 1 half pounds left. At the end of the fair, how many pounds of roasted almonds did he sell at the fair? So we want to know if he started off with 25 pounds of roasted almonds and he has left, that's a key word, three and a half pounds, what is that difference? How much did he use at the fair? So I want you to go ahead and work on this problem and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, let's go over our answer. Well, I didn't have a fraction to subtract from here, so I had to make one. I took away a hole, which gave me 24 holes from the 25, and so I gave that hole and I made a fraction, which was two halves. That's a fraction that's equal to one hole. So then I can take away two halves minus one half gives me one half and 24 holes minus three holes gives me 21 holes. So, Xavier used 21 and a half pounds of roasted almonds at the fair. Okay, here are your homework questions for tonight. You need to do numbers one and two on your Go Math book, page 148. You do not have to do pages or the other numbers on page 148, just one and two. Then, when you get done, I want you to assess yourself. Tell me if you feel like you're a novice, a level one, apprentice, level two, practitioner, level three, or an expert, level four. Then I will see you tomorrow, and we can do some fun activities to practice this. Bye.